laparoscopic total pelvic excentration in previous treated patients with endometrial carcinoma relapse. 76-year-old woman, stage 1A endometrial adenocarcinoma. In 2015, hysterectomy, double anexectomy, lymphadenectomy, and radiotherapy. In 2017, reoperated due to recurrence in vaginal stump. Two years later, new recurrence with a mass of about 5 cm in the vaginal stump, infiltrating the urethra and bladder. Hyperuptake on PET, no lymphadenopathy. Pelvic excentration was decided selecting the patient for a minimally invasive approach. The patient was positioned in the Lloyd Davis position and four trochas were placed according to the needs of the surgery. Beginning of surgery with sigma release. A marking of the pelvic peritoneum to be removed with peritonectomy is carried out. Identification and reference of the right ureter. Mesosigma dissection at the root of the inferior mesenteric artery. Inferior mesenteric artery is identified with subsequent clipping with emolock. Identification and reference of the left ureter. Mesosigma section at the cut point with a mechanical stapler. Dissection of the left ureter following its path to the bladder where it is sectioned. Same procedure with right ureter and section of the same upon entry in the bladder. Pelvic peritonectomy is performed. Continue with the mesorectum dissection. Right parametrial dissection. Uterine vessel sealing. Continuation with posterior mesorectum dissection and dissection of the left parametrium. Dissection of the paravesical peritoneum and initiation of the cystectomy. Access to the red tooth space.
Round ligament release. Continue with the section of the anterior bladder face and section of bladder vessels. And the pelvic fascia opening. Bladder lateral face dissection. Left bladder artery section. Right bladder artery section. And the pelvic fascia dissection. Intense fibrosis in this area due to previous radiotherapy. The section of uretra, uretra section. Periuretral vessel ceiling. In this image, we can see the uretra section with the folic catheter inside and the anterior wall of the vagina behind it, which is then sectioned. Vaginal resection is completed. Dissection of mesorectum to levator anus muscles. Recare preparation checking length of ureters. and breaker handle marking for later realization. Appendicectomy is performed. Perineal time performing abdominoperineal amputation. The piece is extracted perineally. The muscular plane of the perineum, skin and vagina is closed. Mini laparotomy is performed to realize the breaker. Isolation of the ileal loop. Ureter spatulation and pigtail stent insertion. The ureteral anastomosis is carried out. Finally, the uretra is closed. Colostomy in the left iliac fossa and bricker in the right. Pathological anatomy, scamous cell adenocarcinoma of the endometrium with three margins, postoperative of 10 days without relevant complications. Currently, no evidence of disease 14 months after surgery.